All right, what is a battery pack, EV battery pack, or specifically a Tesla battery pack? What is it? Well, if you're like most people and you're watching this video, you probably have no idea how an electric car works. So that's what this video is, is about, to try to explain the basics of how an electric car works because you have a battery pack and motors and you don't have a gasoline or diesel powered engine. Well, let me just start by clearing up the biggest misconception. Yeah, there are several modules that make up an actual pack. So all together, they literally contain thousands of cells. So that's what you have. You have literally thousands of cells connected together, working together, and they all need to be all about the same voltage too. Let me lower this down. It's getting too warm in here. And in addition to that, if, you know, if, if something goes wrong with one of the cells, they could have a major impact on the entire pack of the battery. And you know, typically these battery packs are designed, at least with current technology, here, for heating and cooling. You can see that that right there shows that we cannot go, the battery's not warmed up. There's yellow lines down there, there's yellow dash lines. It's not warmed up all the way. It won't give the max regenerative braking because of that. The battery pack is very, very finicky, okay? These thousands of cells. It like, it's like a human. It likes to be around 75 degrees, I'd say, 72. So because of that, you know, it needs to be heated and cooled. And in most EVs, at least the ones that can charge fast and drive long distances, which is nowadays becoming most of them, although in the past it wasn't, it was only Teslas, but Teslas have heating and cooling systems that circulate liquid through these battery cells and battery packs and keep the temperature relatively constant, which you need for long life. And the current state of battery technology with these liquid filled batteries, these little battery cells, is that they'll last between three and 400,000 miles of driving. Now there's new dry cell technology that will last about a million miles, but that's not out yet. But anyway, hopefully this is a good inter uh, interview, overview. Let me know if you have any questions, write those in the comments below, and I look forward to reading them. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and also the bell for notifications, and we will see you in the next video.